If the trip home takes 39 minutes, at what time does Chris have to leave in order to be home by a quarter after six? A quarter after six. So let's draw a timeline and then think about what has to happen here. This is at least how I need to visualize it in order to solve this problem. And I'm gonna do the hours before six and after six. So I'll start at five and I'll go up to seven just to make sure that we capture everything. I can draw a straighter line than that. So let me draw it a little bit straighter. It's still not perfect, but it'll do the job. So let's say that this is five o'clock. This is six o'clock. And then it'll specify whether it's a.m. or p.m. And this is seven o'clock, seven o'clock. They tell us he has to be home by a quarter after six. So what is a quarter after six? Well, it's going to be a quarter of the way between six and seven o'clock. So this would be half of the way between six and seven o'clock, and then a quarter would be half of that. So this would be a quarter after six, and if we wanted to specify what time a quarter after six is, a quarter of the way between six and seven, we know there are 60 minutes in an hour, so this distance is 60 minutes. A quarter of 60 is 15 minutes. So this time right over here is 6.15, and that's when Chris has to be home. Now, they tell us that the, the trip home takes 39 minutes, so he would, have have to, he would have had to have left 39 minutes before this in order to get home at 6.15. So let's go 39 minutes before this to figure out the time that he would have to leave in order to be home by 6.15. So what is 39 minutes, what is 39 minutes before, before 6.15? Now the way my brain processes it, I like to think about, well, how much, time, how much time does it take to get to the hour? And then how much time do you have left to kind of go before the hour? So this part right over here, this part right over here is 15 minutes. If you go back 15 minutes from 6.15 and go to 6 o'clock, that was 15 minutes. So we've already gone 15 minutes back if we go to 6 o'clock. And then how many minutes do we have left to go back? Well, we went 15 of the 39. 39 minus 15 is 24. So we have to go another 24 minutes before the hour. So this time right over here, this time right over here is 24 minutes, 24 minutes before, before six o'clock, before six o'clock. And once again, the way we figured it out, well look, going from 6.15, if you go 15 minutes back, you get to six o'clock. We had to go 39, so we have 24 left, so then we have to go 24 minutes before six o'clock. But 24 minutes before six o'clock would be how many minutes after five o'clock? Well, once again, we know that there's 60 minutes in an hour, so what's 60 minus 24? Let me do it right over here. So 60 minus 24 is equal to 36. And you could either do that in your head, or you could say, hey, look, you know, I could maybe borrow here. This is a 10, this is a five, or regroup. 10 minus four is six, five minus two is three. The way my brain does it is I say, oh, well, you know, 60 minus 30 would get me to 30, but then I have to subtract, or 60 minus 20 would get me to 40, and then I need to subtract another four more to get to 36. But either way, if we're talking about 24 minutes before six o'clock, that's the equivalent to 36 minutes, minutes after, after five o'clock. So this time right over here is five, five thirty-six. So when they say, what time does Chris have to leave in order to be home by a quarter after six? Five thirty-six.